Hello, my dear friends. So welcome back. Thank you so much for being here with me. I, you are uh, watching Instagram live. And as I promised for the next 30 days, I'm going to be going live either on YouTube at Ukrainian Perspective or here on Instagram. So we're going to mix and match. And today's topic for the Instagram live. Hello, everybody. Hi, uh, Aaron. Hello, Andrew. And uh, everybody else. Hello, Elizabeth. So today's message will continue something that I shared in my previous video. Uh, we were talking about um, the power of abundant mindset, the power of um feeling comfortable uh when you are having enough when you uh, on my ukrainian perspective channel we talk about um particular kinds of men we really have a lot of respect for men who are providers for men who are protectors and men who take pride in taking care of their ladies but here is a question why so often women are falling in love with uh, unavailable, unresourceful men? One of the main reasons for that is that unresourceful men, men who do not have resources, men who are not on their mission, on their grind, they have a lot of time on their hands. They have more time than anything else. And so in the very beginning, they focus all of their time on that lady. They make her feel that she's the center of the universe. They love bomb her. They uh, buy her diamonds and furs. If you buy furs, you know who to call. I'm just joking, but I hope you guys understand what I mean. So these men who uh, have a lot of time on their hands... They learn how to woo a lady. They once again they take they try to take all of her time, make an impression, make you feel that this is the best man in her entire life, and she's the center of his universe. So she doesn't try to be practical. She's not getting uh to see the paperwork she's not asking him for any proof she just believes that this is the man and he will take care and provide but so very often after after a while uh, nobody can stand on their on their toes for too long so after a while uh these kinds of men who are <sighs> smoke and mirrors after all are a huge um, disappointment uh for the women that saw that this was the best man of all you know best opportunity of all best luck of all simply because that is a performance and therefore as a ladies we don't we should not care so much uh about your appearance about your uh class and about or not a real class, but so-called class, you know, so-called the, how to, help me please, how to uh, say this, you know, that allure, that persona, that grand persona that a lot of men put at first. Men who are hardworking, they do not have time to fake create their image. They usually show up as they are and they show their provision and protection and their interest with consistency and they show it with action and that action is consistent they don't um try to do so that many things over the top they trying to see what is that that they could help you with how could they make your life better and Unfortunately, very often, uh, the men who work so hard, they, once again, they don't have time to come up all shiny, you know, with the best perfume, uh, with the best uh, outfit. They focus on you. And sometimes it is, it is 
um women make the wrong choice because they feel like oh you know look at this guy you know he's always uh he's always uh you know shining you know like a flower but for us ladies we need to know to take that any man who put too much effort on himself uh, on his look and his appearances probably would not do the same for us because he is his biggest love in this life well I almost feel like i'm talking about narcissism but hi hi everybody thanks so much yes um as a man who is determined who is working hard he won't have time to to manipulate woman's mind and make her believe in all the you know promise her gardens of eden he will actually be doing things that will um gradually will make a lot of differences in her life but guess what <laughs> unfortunately as ladies we are we read too many fairy tales too many stories and very often we are becoming um kind of a victim of the alluring uh guy that just have all the time so ladies if you're watching me if you are you know talking to a man and he has uh tons of time to talk no time to call no time to make real plans um that should be a red flag as well i'm always i have always been concerned about men who have a lot of time on their hands and especially if uh these men after a while start to to ask you for some kind of help or uh some kind of uh you know some kind of investment from your side you should always as ladies we should always realize that the man who's truly into us he wants nothing more than our presence. As I've shared, I, and I share with you very often, feminine energy have that amazing um, essence that make the world go round, that really inspire men some, on some subconscious level. Just even spending time with a woman that truly inspires you have it's like the most magical peel that you can ever get so therefore as ladies we should be very wise who we are giving our time to thank you so much for the compliments thank you mark <laughs> thank you aaron um thank you andrew thank you so much so ladies beware of the men who have too much time on their hands i made my previous video of how much uh mm, that finance and resourcefulness of a man make relationships so much easier because the woman can simply relax uh, many feminine women don't just want to be a housewife uh even though i think being a housewife it's not just a housewife being a housewife being a mother um creating comfort taking care of the children is a full-time job and very hard one but a lot of ladies uh are they feel that if with a with a feminist brainwash they feel that they would be less than if they don't have a career if you don't comp they don't compete with men if they don't help their man to pay the bills as if he's a little boy and cannot do that by himself only at the same time a lot of women who are very feminine um very inspiring for their men they have their own things they would like to do and pursue but the woman can truly open up in her pursuits in her um desires in the way she, they want to create in a situation where they can relax when you know that your bases are covered um when you know that there is someone there to help you simply have time for imagination, inspiration, and all of that. And, you know, I personally met ladies who are staying at home and with their talents, <laughs> they end, ending up making more 
uh, financial abundance, you know, they uh, bring more money sometimes than men. And they still allow their men to provide and take care of them while doing something good with the money that they bring you know there is always uh, there is always things to invest in there is always ways to make smart moves and it's not when you are relaxed in your family and the man is confident with his masculine it's not a competition but it's absolutely crucial uh, for ladies to end up for serious relationship with a provider thinking man because otherwise most likely it would be a life of misery so this is kind of content i usually talk about on my youtube channel so if you enjoy this please check my youtube channel um it's called ukrainian perspective so i do wish that ladies would fall in love more with the boring, hardworking men, with a boring, I don't think hardworking men are really boring, but dedicated, hardworking men often don't have time to learn the game, to learn the appearance, to have whole plans of manipulation, how to drag the woman in. So... Ladies, once again, if you have, if you are in touch with a man that have too much time on his hands and make you feel too special, put you ahead of his career, ahead of everything in his life, just remember that after some time it will turn 180 and it will be all, uh, it will be the other way around. This is unnatural and it won't last this way. On my channel, I really appreciate and support uh traditional strong men who make things happen who work hard and therefore <laughs> i want to make these videos to uh help you a little bit in the inside of the women of the female's mind and ladies if you're watching me give a chance to those men who don't tell you uh millions of co compliments and blah 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 take more a careful look more more attention to those men who seem to be observing and then doing the right move because that is the best compliment when the man want to make your life easier when he takes an action to do so he could be the one because inside of his heart he may not be a poet you know he might not be uh the most alluring poetic man but inside of his heart he does feel special about you and that's why he mobilized all his all his resources to make your life uh easier and more comfortable for you rather than spending all of his energy to completely mess up with your brain where you would believe that you will be the center of his life but only till the time when the first big bill comes and then the reality would set in unfortunately a lot of ladies don't have enough of our rom romance and attention from men and therefore they fall for this and i would love to help hard-working smart um those very deserving men how to be better in this uh, communication, how how to um, how to not fade <laughs> in comparison to those men who have so much free time on their hands. So, my dear friends, that's what I wanted to share with you. I'm going to take this challenge to uh, make uh, videos uh, for 30 days on both of my platforms or at least one of them. I really appreciate your comments, your feedback. Uh, we're just talking about social dynamics and things like that. Of, of course, uh, Ukrainian, the situation in Ukraine, the 
international relationships always as well i want to say again huge big thank you for uh, my uh, wonderful people who have been uh, with me. Uh, I want to thank uh, those of you who came yesterday to my YouTube live stream. I want a special thank you to um, those of you who have uh, contributed to our new mission for Ukraine. I I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And of course, thank you, my dear femininity uh, <laughs> and fur lovers here on Instagram. I appreciate you very much as well. You can find all of my information either in the comments uh, in on the YouTube channel under this video or here on Instagram in my bio. I'm not wearing a fur. I just posted a fur reel. So please check it out. Uh, yes, uh, I had a request from Johnny B. Thank you so much for supporting what I do, uh, Johnny. And I had posted the request for red and black. It's a red fox and, and uh, black mink. So it's right here. If you go to my reels, it would be the first one just posted a few minutes ago. So thank you, my dear friends. Please let me know if you enjoy these videos or would you like to stick um, to something else? But on the other hand, on the other hand, you better like these videos because that's what I will do. <laughs> I would love, absolutely love to share things with you. Um, and hopefully we will grow this page and so as our uh, viewers on YouTube. Thank you so much. Oh, Andrew, you are so kind and so sweet. Thank you. I will take it as a yes. <laughs> I think uh, when you change a belief and you believe that there are a women or men of your preference, that they do exist, they actually starting to show up in your life. You know, that could be a good video for the next topic because women always say, you know, where all the good guys uh, went or why there is no more noble or chivalrous men. And when you believe when you know that there are men like this, uh, you meet them and you meet them sometimes every day, whether online or in, in real life. When you believe that they exist, you have so much more um, chance to meet them in real life. And so, Andrew, too, thank you so much for that wonderful compliment. But I think uh, there are definitely women of your preference. They definitely exist. But uh, you need to <laughs> maybe open up a little bit more and uh, believe because even if you made me that compliment so i do exist <laughs> so it means that um probably there is more <laughs> so the oh there are more women um that think the way i do or present themselves the way i do because i got inspired from someone right <laughs> back in time i meet uh inspirational women all the time and I post a lot of my stories, a lot of, uh, you know, beautiful, inspiring women as well. So things are not so bad after all. <laughs> yes, if you want to see my latest reel, it's uh, on, on my Instagram. I'm promoting some retro fashion and some furs. So you can go to my reels and get lost there <laughs> as well. I will wear fur in my videos probably when the fall and winter comes because... If, when I'm posting this on YouTube, um, people may think I'm not well <laughs> when I'm wearing a fur still in, in, in summer is not over yet, right? Or at least here, it's not. I do not speak French, but I wish I would. <laughs> so, that is all I wanted to share. Uh, I do believe that... Um, we need some help to discern uh, the dynamics and make ourselves happier. Unfortunately, in the mainstream media, we are being told about, you know, the equality and competition and keep pushing and keep hustling and, you know, help your husband, you know, uh, pay his car so he can go out and impress somebody else. Because he's not a man. He can't do it himself. Like, we we have in so much uh, so much influence from mainstream media that uh, emasculate men to the 
extent of just of mind blowing is that of just levels of <laughs> is that we we can't even comprehend and trying to force women into this dynamic of keep going keep going you got this and if you have been following me for any length of time you know that personally i love entrepreneurship i love business i think that is the most amazing thing but women should not do things that exhaust them and they should not give their energy to the men who cannot provide and protect them as well women should be able to flourish enjoy themselves and create then we will see the better world if our women will actually raise the children not the ipads raising children not the teachers in the public schools but women who are sitting there having their cup of tea and reading with their child talking to their child tapping into the child's inner world being there we will see the change before we die i hope <laughs> so i uh, would like to encourage you to at least consider thinking this way thank you so much my dear friends and i wish you a very wonderful and relaxing night